Hey there, it's Brie, and today I am sharing your favorite alien romances. So recently I conducted an extremely scientific survey that was able to compile a list of your favorite alien romances, like you specifically, it's your favorite. I'm just kidding. Obviously this wasn't extremely scientific. Let me give you the background. So I was watching a makeup YouTuber and she does this series where she takes like a certain piece of makeup, like a bronzer, for example, I think that was the last one she did. And she asks her followers on social media to fill out a form and they tell her what their favorite bronzer is. She goes through it. She figures out like the top five and then she does a video and shares the top five of like her viewers i thought it would be fun to do something similar but with like bookish tropes and things like that so i decided to start with alien romances and obviously her following was way larger than mine so my survey sample is extremely small so when i say it's your favorite alien romances i mean obviously that's probably not accurate, but I was able to get enough responses to figure out the top three of the responses that I got from this small sampling of people. So hopefully if you guys enjoy this, maybe more people will participate, or I guess if the next trope is something a little bit more popular, like Grumpy Sunshine or something, more people will participate and I'll get more responses. But in this case, I do have the top three. And then since I do only have three that got multiple responses, I'm going to go through some of the other ones that only got like one response and I will also include the reasons why these books were chosen by people because I have not read all of them. I read some of them, but I have not read all of them. So I think it might be beneficial if you hear from the people who say that it's their favorite alien romance. Some of you understood the assignment. Some of you did not. (laughs) I did get a couple of responses that were like, I've never read an alien romance. I'm like, why'd you fill out the form? (laughs) It's fine. It's fine. It was very entertaining. But anyway, so yes, I'm going to give you the results of that survey and we're going to talk about the top three. I'm going to talk about my favorite alien romance, which nobody mentioned, but don't worry, I am on a mission for more people to read this book because I love it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the top three. So I think it makes sense to start with number three. So coming up in third place, I was very excited about this. I got a few responses with this and they were actually different books within the series, but I'm going to go ahead and list this series as number three, and that is The Prime Mating Agency by Regine Abel. I'm so excited that this came in number three. This is I Married a Lizard Man, I Married a Naga, and I Married a Bird Man. So I have read all three of those books. I absolutely love them. They all kind of revolve around this prime mating agency. All three of them actually are a marriage of convenience and they have great tropes, such cinnamon roll, amazing heroes in them. The communication in them is on point. It's just so satisfying. So let me read you some of the things people had mentioned about it. Someone said, it's adorably sweet and it made me smile the whole time I was reading it. I was the same way. Like seriously, these are just the most adorable, uplifting romances that are a little bit weird because they're alien romances. And they have such like campy covers that I love. And then someone else said, their communication were both willing to compromise when their ways did not match and Susan helping the heroes people. I think that one was talking about um, I Married a Birdman. So yes, I feel like most people who enjoy alien romances end up enjoying this one, especially because it is very much like a low angst, like fun, easy read, and they're fairly short as well. And then coming in at number two was actually a big surprise to me because I co- I totally, like when I think of alien romances, this is not the book that I think of, but it absolutely is an alien romance. And that's The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I read this years and years and years ago. It's been a long time since I read it, but basically it is, I, I think this is YA, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's YA. It's kind of a love square between three people, I guess. I always, I feel like when this book came out, Stephanie was saying it was a love triangle between two people, but it's actually like a love square between three people. And basically this girl gets implanted with an alien, like aliens have taken over the planet. They're implanting themselves into humans. She gets implanted, but she's very strong-willed and she kind of fights it. And so she has someone who she's in love with and then the alien falls in love with someone else, but it's in her body. It's like this whole big thing. But yeah, I mean, it's a very unique story. Let me read a couple of the reasons why people chose this book. Someone said, I remember really enjoying the premise, characters, intrigue, and love story. Someone else said the story is well-written and unique considering it's a love web, but not really. It's character-driven and the protagonists equally share the spotlight. I agree with that. The protagonists did equally share the spotlight. Stephanie Meyer could continue the series because it's so underrated and the love story is better than Twilight. I think so. I think the love story may be better in Twilight. I think maybe because it's so unique. 
So I feel like number one is what I was expecting to be number one and probably what you are expecting as well. And it is Ice Planet Barbarians. This was number one. This was voted on multiple, multiple times. This whole series are, they're super short books and they can kind of all blend together, but yet somehow I didn't feel like they were repetitious. Like I could, it's a very marathonable series. So this is a great like intro to alien romance series. So it's not surprising to me that so many people like this. There were a few people that were like, that really liked this because it was nostalgia purposes. And I totally understand that. Like I definitely have nostalgia when looking at this cover and reading this series. Basically it's about this ship of human women who crash land onto this ice planet. And there are these barbarian aliens who actually have been stranded there for a long time too, but they now inhabit that land. But the only way that humans and they can survive is by having like this thing inside of them and that thing inside of them sings to its mate and so when the human women in order to survive get this put inside of them it sings to some of these different barbarians and what I really like about this is that there are not a lot of female barbarians so the male barbarians are very very excited when this whole spaceship full of women crash lands so a little uh, there are trigger warnings in this and it's a little bit unexpected because I think people maybe kind of forget about it in the beginning but in the very beginning of this book there is rape like on page rape and it's because these women are taken against their will. There's also like a language barrier as well because when the human women initially like come to and everything, they don't understand the Ice Planet Barbarians. So really, really good. Here are some things that other people say about it. So it says, I just read the first three and fell in love. I had to get the rest of the series because I'm planning on marathoning it. It's just so different to everything I usually read. I can't wait to explore more of this alien romance trope now that I got into it. And then they thanked me for recommending it. I appreciate that. I love that. I feel like this is such a popular series that when people say that I I'm the one who inspired them to read it. It's really exciting. Someone said, blue men with a tip that vibrates, just perfect. Someone else said, it was the first I read and it always held a special place in my heart and I feel the exact same way. Now that we've gone through that, let's talk about some of the other books that people suggested that didn't necessarily have anyone else vote on them, but I thought it was worth mentioning. The first one, this person wrote like, a whole big thing about why they love it. It made me really, really want to read it because of what they said. So they said, Brides of the Kindred series by Evangeline Anderson. And I don't know that I've heard of this one. They said, the Kindred world is really expansive. Once I got into it, I couldn't help but continue with the series. I'll give a few concise points about why I love it. So the first one says diversity in characters and they mean their background, what fields they work in, their personalities. And then the men of this world are so, so respectful of anything that's feminine in origin. And I feel like that's a big thing that I love in alien romances like I want the alien heroes to worship the females like I love that the faded mate aspect we all love a good faded mate I'm sorry someone decided to mow their lawn like right now that's another thing that is really great about alien romances is a lot of times you get those faded mates. Healthy rep of sex and has really good steam, amazing villains, which I don't hear too much in alien romances. So that's, ex that's exciting. It says not difficult to get into. And then they also said, I also love the series so much because it's one of those first few reads that got me into reading this much today. I love that says, now I can read anything and everything you pass along my way. They said, it's been quite a while over a decade although they're not sure since the first book was released and the author is continuing to write in this world to, to date. Another claimed book is Claimed by the Horde King by Zoe Draven. I have heard of Zoe Draven, though I haven't read any books by this author yet. And they describe this, which makes it really exciting, is Dothraki from Game of Thrones meets Ice Planet Barbarians. And so that's really exciting. Another one is Dating an Alien Pop Star by Kendall Saunders. And they said, because it has hilarious characters and unique sex. <laughs> like, what more can you want? That's one of those books I almost have to read because the title is so ridiculous and the premise sounds ridiculous. But if it's someone's favorite, that's saying something. And then I was actually expecting this one. I actually expected this to be voted on several times, but it was only once, and that is Ensnared by Tiffany Roberts. This is a spider alien romance. And the person said, the trilogy is not even complete yet, but the way he tan loves Ivy warms my heart so much. He's one of the furthest from a human shape that I've ever read, but he loves her so fiercely. That is so, so true. I know that Jen from the Book Refuge really, really likes this series. And then Ava actually recommended When She Belongs by Ruby Dixon. And I think she actually has a video breaking down Ruby Dixon. So I will link that down below if I can find it. She likes it because she says it's grumpy sunshine and 
she loves the couple so much. And she's like, let me know if you want any more recs. <laughs> I'm sure like if you guys want some serious alien romance recs, make sure you're following her. I'll link her down below. So this next one is one that I actually read and really, really liked. It's Strange Love by Anne Aguirre. This one's like an alien robot romance where the alien, he accidentally abducts the wrong person. It's a human and he also abducts her dog. And it's hilarious and unique and adorable and I liked it. This person said low angst heroin makes the best of it and super super sweet alien. Very very true. Super cinnamon roll. And then someone else suggested the Taken series by Stacey Jones. They said the first book is Arya's Awakening and they said that they liked the female main character and it's a bit different from other alien abduction slash gladiator books that they've read. And I feel like once you've read several alien romances and you start really diving into this trope, I guess, a genre. I don't know. When you really start diving into alien romances, a lot of the books can seem a little repetitive. So it's nice to hear that this book is different. Someone else suggested Taken to Naboo by Elizabeth Stevens. They said, this world can be a little confusing, but so well thought out and diverse. The heroine is black and the hero is just, and then they had like the little face with the hearts around it. So I love a good diverse alien romance. It's kind of hard to find, I feel like, unfortunately. But one thing I will say is Regine Abel's books are pretty diverse as well. I think I Married a Birdman, the heroine is Latina. I know some of her other books are pretty diverse as well. But yes, we have a black heroine and a swoony hero apparently in Taken to Naboo. And then someone else suggested The Last Hour of Gone by R. Lee Smith. And then all they said was that it felt epic. And I looked this one up and it does, like it seems a little bit like more serious than most alien romances are. Like I feel like sometimes, I feel like most of the alien romances that you find, they're a little bit tongue in cheek, even if like it's not goofy, it still can feel a little tongue in cheek. But when I was reading the synopsis for this one, it didn't really feel tongue in cheek, like it felt serious. And what's interesting about it is the alien is a holy warrior alien. It's one of those like stereotypical kind of situations where the heroine was in a spaceship crash on his planet or whatever. But I thought that was really interesting. And then last but not least, another one someone suggested was Veronica's Dragon by Ruby Dixon. That one is book two in the Ice Home series. And then they also suggested Choosing Theo by Victoria Abilene. And they said, couldn't choose just one. Love them because they offer new settings for romance and worshiping heroes, new take on a faded mate trope. I love a faded mate and I love worshiping heroes. And now I thought that we would talk about my favorite, which nobody voted on, which makes me very sad. And I actually have two, but it's by the same author. If you've been here for the past few videos, you probably can guess, but my favorite is The Quarry Master by Amanda Milo. This was the very first book that I read by Amanda Milo and immediately fell in love. Was it the first? No, this was the second book I read by Amanda Milo. Fell in love with this. This is a slow burn, grumpy sunshine, has a disabled heroine. It's hilarious. The audiobook is phenomenal. Nick Cracknell reads it and he is so freaking talented with all the accents that he does. I just, I love this. This is such, this has such a reluctant hero that can't really hide how he's feeling as hard as he tries because he has a tail and his tail kind of shows what he's feeling. So he's constantly like stomping on his tail, but it is kind of chunky and it is slow burn, but I am telling you, it's so freaking good. I'm obsessed with it. I also love the Stolen by Alien series by Amanda Milo. I will say there are trigger warnings for those books, especially the Stolen by Alien series. Just check those out. She does list them in the beginning of the book. But if you can get past to that, oh my gosh, it's so good. I have raved about those books for a while. So those are my favorites and your favorites. Let me know down below if there was an alien romance that you read that was not mentioned in this video. Let me know down below. And also, please do let me know if you like these type of videos and if you want more. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, happy reading.